When we look up in the sky, every star we see is in the Milky Way, the spiral galaxy we call home. The Milky Way holds every alien planet humans have ever discovered and the billions more that likely exist in the galaxy. On a dark night, the dense plane of the Milky Way winds like a ribbon across the sky. On a really dark night, in areas free from light pollution, that ribbon becomes so intensely spangled with stars that it's possible to see the dark, dusty clouds of dust and gas deep in space. Our galactic home is one of trillions of galaxies in the universe. Ever since Edwin Hubble discovered that the neighboring Andromeda was not just another nearby dusty nebula, but a galaxy of its own, astronomers have been studying galaxies since then. And yet, humans are still trying to unravel the secrets of our home galaxy and how it fits in the tapestry of the universe. Here are some of the strange facts you didn't know about the Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way is mostly flat. Our galaxy is about 200,000 light years across, but only a thousand light years thick. Within this flattened disk, the Sun and its planets are embedded in a curving arm of gas and dust, putting the solar system about 27,000 light years away from the galaxy's turbulent center. Milky Way is estimated to contain about 100 to 400 billion stars and at least that number of planets. The Milky Way is moving at a velocity of approximately 600 kilometers per second. The oldest stars in the Milky Way are nearly as old as the universe itself and is probably formed shortly after the dark ages of the Big Bang. Earth is 18 galactic years old. The solar system is traveling through interstellar space at around 500,000 miles an hour. Even at that rate, it takes about 250 million years to travel once around the Milky Way. The last time our planet was in this same spot, continents were different, dinosaurs were just emerging, mammals had yet to evolve, and the most profound mass extinction in the planet's history was in progress. Before we continue further, be sure to subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss any of our weekly videos. There's a monster black hole in the center of the galaxy. The black hole is called Sagittarius A, this supermassive black hole weighs in at more than 4 million times the mass of the Sun. We've never seen this object directly as it's hidden behind a thick cloud of dust and gas. But astronomers have been able to follow the orbits of stars and gas clouds near the galactic center, which allowed them to calculate the mass of this massive black hole. It's thought that supermassive black holes are present in the cores of most galaxies, and some are feeding on nearby matter so fast that they shoot out jets of powerful radiation, visible from millions of light years away. Andromeda and Milky Way will collide. In about 4 billion years, the Milky Way will collide with its nearest neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy. The two spiral galaxies are currently hurtling toward each other at 250,000 miles an hour. When they do smash into one another, it won't be as apocalyptic as you might imagine. Earth will likely survive, and very few stars will actually be destroyed. The galaxies will pass through each other, get snapped back together by gravity, and eventually merge its cores. Our new home galaxy will be called Milkromeda. We will gain a trillion neighboring stars. Anyone left alive will see an incredible night sky full of new stars. Our sun is one star among billions. The Milky Way has around 100 to 400 billion stars. Technically we don't actually know the precise number of stars in our galaxy. Many of them are dim, low-mass stars that are hard to detect over vast cosmic distances, and there are massive clouds obscuring the bulge of stars nearest to Sagittarius A. Astronomers have estimated this number of stars based on the Milky Way's mass and brightness, but the actual numbers are still a mystery. We're surrounded by a dark halo. The Milky Way is embedded in a clump of dark matter that is far larger and more massive than the galaxy itself. In the late 1960s, astronomer Vera Rubin theorized the presence of these invisible halos around galaxies when she observed that stars near the edge of Andromeda were whipping around the galaxy's center at speeds that should send them flying off into space. And yet, they weren't, meaning that some sort of cosmic glue held everything together. That glue is what we call dark matter now. We hang out with ancient stars. The Milky Way is also surrounded by more than 150 ancient groups of stars, some of which are among the oldest stars in the universe. 
These are called globular clusters. These primordial stellar conglomerates live in the Milky Way's halo and orbit the galactic center. Each is crammed with thousands of stars. Also hanging around the Milky Way are dozens of satellite galaxies, most of these are tough to see, but the small and large Magellanic clouds glisten each night in the southern sky. Our galaxy is an island in a stream of stars. The Milky Way eats galaxies that come too close. Over the years, scientists studying the galaxy's fringe have detected some two dozen faint streamers of stars that are the remnants of galaxies past. These ghostly stellar rivers formed when the Milky Way's more powerful gravity ripped apart smaller galaxies, leaving behind glittering strands of leftovers. The Dark Energy Survey team announced that it had detected 11 more of these streamers, some of which have been given strange names. The galactic center is blowing hot air. The Milky Way is blowing massive bubbles of extremely hot gas and energetic particles. Stretching far above and below the galactic plane, these so-called Fermi bubbles shoot straight out of the galaxy's center, fueled by a wind blowing at 2 million miles an hour. Unknown until 2010, it's not entirely clear why these bubbles exist. Astronomers already knew that supermassive black holes at the cores of other galaxies are active eaters, and they fling off towering jets of high-energy particles as they feed. By comparison, the Milky Way's central black hole is underfed, making it surprising that it would emit any jets at all. Some theories say that the bubbles, each about 30,000 light-years long, are a galactic wind of high-energy particles, blown out from the Milky Way's hectic center. Or they could be cosmic burps, clouds of energized particles belched out by the galaxy's central black hole. Gas clouds are fleeing the galaxy. The center of the Milky Way is a special place. At its heart is a black hole several million times more massive than the Sun, and there are regions of intense star birth and explosive star destruction. These energetic processes have generated a powerful cosmic wind that has blown two enormous bubbles above and below the disk of the Milky Way that are filled with gas at tens of millions of degrees. This superheated gas shines bright when viewed in X-ray. Observed recently with the Green Bank Telescope, more than a hundred hydrogen gas clouds are zooming away from the galaxy's core at 738,000 miles an hour. Scientists studying the deserting swarm say the clouds can act as tracers for the powerful processes that produce the giant Fermi bubbles.